friends. Uh, it's been a few days since I started this video. Um, I don't get a whole lot of time to carve. I, I sort of have to have to take it as I get it, you know. Um, so it's been about a week since I started this spoon. Um, you know, as I make these spoons, I you know I guess I have some some thoughts which maybe I'll I'll try to share with you guys today. Um, each spoon I make is a learning process. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to make spoons and even guys who are doing things that I elect not to do. I, I still learn something, you know. I, I still think anyone who's putting videos up um, deserves some thanks because, you know, most of us aren't making any money at this, right? Um, but it's still it's such a great resource, you know, when you're, when you're trying to, when you're learning to do this. Um, and as I do this, I sort of I'm developing my own style. I, I think my eventual aim would be if I could do this often enough and well enough to sell them, to sell them. Sorry, <laughs> um, that would be ideal. As it is, um, you know, I only started it sort of as a, you know, carving a spoon is a bushcraft 101 thing, right? Um, I discovered I, I kind of like doing it, you know, so I, I've kept up now. My, my toolkit is really, really basic. I'll, I'll show it to you. You guys have seen this. Wetterlings Small Axe. Um, I think Wetterlings is a great company. Some guys think, you know, it sure ain't Grants Furs, but I, I think it's pretty close to Grants Furs for a noticeably lower price. You know, I like this axe. Um, for carving with, it's not ideal. Grants Furs makes a large carving axe that I would dearly love to have, and, and at some point I will. It's just, you know, once the tools get to around 200 bucks, I, I kind of have to save up for a while, you know, or, or make a case at home, shall we say. Um, so I would eventually like to add the, the grants first, uh, especially for when I'm, I'm removing material to try to get it down to that size, because these things start as, as, you know, half a log, right? Um, so that's the ax. And yes, I will be adding another axe at some point. Um, for the bowl, you guys have seen spoon knives, right? I started out with this frost, um, which I don't like, and I use a seldom as I don't use it anymore, actually. Um, I find that they go dull too fast. Um, I'm not fabulous at sharpening, so I, you know, I've got it back to serviceable, a serviceable edge, but it's it's not an exciting knife to use. It's not a great knife at all. I recently got this from Alexander Yerkes, and it's fabulous. It's just great. Um, <clears throat> some of you guys might know Alex, uh, Alex Yerkes from his YouTube channel, or if you're on Bushcraft USA, you'll know him as Adahi. He makes fabulous kooksas, he makes gorgeous spoons, and now he's getting into uh, blacksmithing. Uh, so, I contacted him and ordered this. And it's a much, much better knife. It's just, it, it's better. You can hold it different ways. Um, however, the frost, um, once you work in shipping and everything, it's like a $30 knife, maybe, more like 28 or something. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, I don't remember. This, shipping to Canada, that's a $100 knife. So I would expect it to be a lot better. Uh, I have no regrets. I think this knife is worth what I, I spent because I enjoy it that much. It makes the carving such a, a better experience. But if you're living across an international border from him, bear in mind that I think he charges he his actual price like 60 or 70 shipped in the States or something. I don't quite remember. But getting it across the border is going to pump your price up. So just be aware. I mean that's my toolkit so far. Um, as I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to add a left-handed one on uh, for pushing instead of carving towards me. Um, stylistically for the spoons, I, I may add like a hole in the end, put like a leather thong or something. I haven't done it yet because I'm I guess I sort of see it as a point of pride that I've been using no power tools for these. The only power, the only electricity I've used is to make my tea and to light 
my workspace. That's it. And uh, so if I'm going to put a hole, I'm going to look for one of those old style hand, hand drills for an affordable price, you know, whatever, an estate sale or something. Spoon's been sitting in uh, food grade mineral oil for about three days. I, I don't know if it should be three days or seven or just one. I just, you know, I put it in, in some oil and let it soak. I imagine if someone out there has actual knowledge about how long it should be sitting, they'll uh, feel free to PM me. And let me know if I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Uh, but for the spoons I made so far, it's worked out fine. So, you know, they're not rotting away as we use them or anything. Um, you know, I find that when you oil the wood, not only does it help protect it, but it, man, it can really bring out the uh, the grain. You know, something that looks like a kind of a boring piece of white wood, you know, turns into something like this. You know, oh, it's really nice. Um, in the days since I started this video, I've been thinking if I do decide to like put a logo on this or something, I was wondering, like at first I thought maybe, you know, getting it laser etched, but sending my spoons out to a laser etcher every time I make one seems expensive. Then I was thinking of maybe, um, branding them, you know, getting like a metal like, I don't know, someone CNC's metal brands or whatever, heat it up, stick it on. If anyone out there knows anything about that, <clears throat> please feel free to PM me or maybe, maybe drop a comment down below the video here. Um, what I'm going to do is, you know, as you, you guys know the drill, I'm going to take some shots and um, stick them at the end of this video. Um, incidentally, if you like my videos, if you like this one or any of the others, please subscribe. Um, I really like seeing new subscribers show up. I, makes me feel like there's someone out there actually paying attention. Uh, yeah, it looks cool. Um, so I guess this one's done. I don't know if I'm going to do a, be a beeswax finish on it or not. I, I'm starting to think that maybe just oiling them is going to be enough. But I'll think on it for a few days. But for the purpose of this video, this spoon is done. Looks great to me. Um, as I said, I'm going to put some shots on. There we go. That's all she wrote. Thanks for watching, guys.